Assalamu alaikum everyone, this day I welcome you to this program on organ donation held at the Eagles Arena. This event is hosted uh, by BIMA, which is, which is the British Islamic Medical Association. So There's a very important uh, meeting that we're holding today for the community and the faith uh, leaders just to look at the uh, issues regarding organ donation, especially in the context of the law changing in April 2020. Uh, Today's event really is about highlighting uh, what organ donation means from a Muslim, Muslim perspective, uh, what are the restrictions, what is permitted permitted and what is not permitted and we'll be hearing from experts and Muslim scholars today. We're welcoming a lot of people here today including the community, the faith leaders, the healthcare professionals, the transplant teams, the transplant patients as well will be revealing their journeys through this process and how difficult it can be to be a kidney a recipient and also be on the transplant waiting list. And we hope to achieve by the end of t tonight's event uh, an understanding and a commitment towards um, organ donation but also understanding its topic and spreading its awareness amongst the Muslim community. The aims today are really to raise awareness and then affect change and so people can make an informed choice about organ donation. The main sponsors of these events are British Islamic Medical Association and also NHSBT who sponsored this and we have charity. We welcome everybody and hope you ha they have a good meeting today. Right, uh, so um, we're going to begin the program um, um, and I think it really sets the scene for, for, for the rest. Common ...with roughly 50% of all people over the age of 75. So we are a young community which is going to get older, so the disease is going to be... ...boards and I've tried to thank Dr. Ahmed as well, which has helped us a lot in the... Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you're all well. Um, I'm 25 years old, born in the UK. We're not talking about tissue, things like cornea, heart valve, skin, bone. They're, that's very different with a very different set of... Uh, so probably maybe worse condition being of dialysis. And this, you probably, the government owns you now. You can't do anything. And, and a lot of people think that, no, you can opt out or opt in whenever you want. Other than, and the exception to that halal is whatever Islam has made it haram. If Islam needs well, everybody really fired up to ask questions. It's important these people here that earn the money and grill today before they go home. I'm just going to introduce you. Towards the end of it, still, when we work out. Someone in their family, uh, and I helped people journey through that process. I'm I'm just, just, I'm just to slightly add to that. So, uh, as possible, and if you need the body returned soon and out, that there was, um, you know, there was individual who's making a choice um because i thought you died right and it just whipped you away so uh, islam works on your intentions okay move on to the next one my husband received a live donor transplant from his cousin post transplant they do take a little bit of longer time we can try to find out you know why see what the local ulama would say rather just have import they do not come forward and follow on from that particular discussion and talk about some of the recent developments in organ donation Those wishing to ask questions to the panel privately can do so, but I'm...